I'm pretty sure what might have been Not forsaken my love won't end All right, so I'm going to talk about some excerpts of this song, Edge Effects. This has a couple chord progressions that are uh, interesting to me. Uh, that section I just played for you, which we could call um, sort of the first verse in a way, um, is really uh, pretty standard fare. We're, we're doing an F. If you look at the chord chart, we're doing an F to a C over E, and then to a C, to a D, E minor, A minor, G over B, to C. So some really light series of modulations, but pretty classic classic sequence of chords that doesn't really jump out of key. I suppose what's fun that I've alluded to in other songs off this record um, are these ideas of feeling like you're moving more than you are, right? So that's something that attracts me to like minimalism as well. This idea that you're kind of going nowhere fast, right? So in a sense, this pr whole progression can also have a pad over it, right? Can have some real common tones the whole time. So for instance, if I just choose G and C, right? R root and fifth type stuff. And then in the, in the bass, I'll kind of move through those chords. So we have. Right, or. So kind of making your way through um, through chords that that are not too surprising necessarily and then flattening the top like I've done on some other songs, okay? The next section I originally came out of this, this progression I just played for you from an A chord and then I went into this ascending progression which I would think would be sort of a two, three, four, five progression, right? Roman numeral wise. Um, sounding like okay um, but I, I think there's a trick I've picked up thinking in the past from a variety of musical sources um, to just kind of reframe a progression by going up a minor third basically right so if I've got that progression I just played right and then the sound of that a minor third up would be on G minor. And then I thought it would be kind of a fun um, melodic challenge to just start to flip between those two progressions, right? So it's two progressions. They sort of mean the same thing, but by having them toggle between each other, it gives kind of an interesting melodic challenge. Um, so let's kind of hear if we can do that. So if I start on that G minor, um, and then I can sing here. Gated community, George Winston's home. Surveillance states that just won't stop. So basically you're doing the same melodic figure, but you start to sing it in a new key. And when you toggle back and forth between these things, what once was difficult becomes easier and easier. So I learned a little while ago that in a sense, when you're writing music, you're training the listener to um, learn your melody with you. Like you're teaching someone a, a new song, right? And so that that move is not really easy for me to sing, but the more I practice it, the easier it gets. And there's something compelling about kind of that idea of toggling melodically. It almost, reflecting on it now, feels like it's a duet, right? So the first vocalist is... Response. All right. So that's uh, some excerpts from that song, Edge Effects. <laughs> 